everybody, welcome back to Buckland Farm. So I'm just on my way to the cell points with all our wood. Um, so we've got all the wood sort of products. We've got straw crates and straw accessories. And we've also got the pickup following us with the rest of it. And he's got a stone statue as well. So see what we can make from all of this. And then we've also got the red beet, preserved red beet. So let's see if I can do this in one go. Nope. <laughs> So we were on 78, so so that's nearly 120 so far. Just go and jump in the pickup. Um, what are we doing? We're getting confused there. Right, got a straw crate there, so we need to drop that here. Drop the statue here. And I think we dropped a pallet of planks. So we'll just turn those over. There we go. Right, so that is everything. So 245. I'm not going to work out that out yet. What I am going to do is... I think just for the ease of it, I'm going to bring the pickup over. And we'll just use super strength to load those in. Rather than getting the uh, telehandler or wheel loader all the way over here. Get those in. So these are two thousand litre pallets. So we have ten thousand litres here. Unfortunately, we were about 750 litres off another pallet, so... There we go. Right, let's just slowly take these round to the... Um, actually, where are we going to sell these? I think they will sell at the Silver and Market. Um, yeah, silver on market. So we had seven, around 78,000 when we started. Excellent. 
So we've just made nearly 200,000 from those bits and pieces. So, yeah, very good. So I'm going to leave these here for now. Because the other thing I've been doing is I've started chopping down some trees in this area. Because we do need uh, to top up the sawmill over there and the card and paper factory. So yeah, I have started chopping some trees down. I did get a bag lifter for this, but the only problem with this is the steering is very sort of slow. As you can see, it's not um, it's not the quickest, and it makes it a little bit difficult. So that will tow the trailer, though. So we'll leave that there for a minute. Just going to get one, one more load with the heli handler. Yeah. So I remember now the um, the heli handler was. It's about three, three logs is the optimum, really, for lifting. Any more than that, and it was a bit unstable. <coughs> but I think three more will pretty much be a full load. These are all the thicker ends as well, so I've sort of separated them into piles. I think that will do for this load. Attach the wheel loader. Get that loaded into the sawmill and card factory. Oh. Let me turn manual attach off. I need to remember to... Um, to deactivate the manual attach when I load into the game. Oh wow, is that going to struggle with this load? <coughs> well, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, so we've got a few more piles. Come on, you can make it. Oh dear, this is very slow. Once it gets rolling, it's not too bad, but yeah. So I think I'll put this into the sawmill first because that's running really low. I think when I last looked it was at about three and a half thousand litres, four thousand litres left. So. so I think we're going to have to have a tractor over here to do this.
have of course got all of these pellets to to sell and the rest that are in the building to make into uh, or to palletise I know so as I say that'll be a winter job So, 32,500 litres. Yes, I think that will be, the forestry stuff will be something I concentrate on off camera. I have, of course, got all those trees there as well. So, actually, I might, uh, might park this down there. And we'll get rid of these trees first. But the other thing I wanted to do in this episode. Um, so these are still parked up from the last episode. I'll just put that there. Jump into the Massey, I think. And we're going to head over to the cow pasture. I'll see you there shortly. So, over at the cow pasture. And I think it's time we've got some cows. <clears throat> I don't know where my voice went like that. <laughs> um, so, we do want... I think we're going to have a mix. So, Brown, Swiss and Holstein, I think. Um, <clears throat> so, obviously cows are quite expensive. So, I think what I might do is get... 20 of each so we're going to get 10 10 brown swifts heifers and then we're going to get 10 fully grown brown swifts And then the same with the Holsteins. <clears throat> so there we go. So we've got 40, 40 cows. That doesn't look very brown to me. <laughs> Animals in this game tend to change colour. I have noticed. So we might come back tomorrow and they'll be all white or Holstein or who knows. Um, but yeah, so we've got 40, 40 cows. So as you remember, I did drop some grass in there by accident. So there is six and a half thousand litres of food. But we are going to make a TMR mix shortly and we need to get some water so for the water i am going to get the same tanker that we've got um which is under animals uh where is animals there it is So this one here, um, but this will also do milk, so we're going to have um, 
We'll have it sign written as milk, but. Um, do we want to? Yeah, we'll go big capacity. <clears throat> but I'm going to do this one white. Or milk. Shall we have black rims? Yeah, let's have black rims. Change the registration because I just have a thing about changing the registration. Um, that'll do. So we're going to buy this. I do want to try not to lease anything anymore. Although I may need to. <laughs> um, so I, I want to get this feed mixer because it will do a big mix. And I think it will be easier to, um, with the bales. But very, very expensive, isn't it? So that's 28,800. Um, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to do it. Got a thing about black wheels for some reason. Don't know why. There we go. Yeah, I've bought it. <laughs> We're now left with 20,859. But that's all right because we have got plenty of products being produced. Um, we've got all that silage that we can put in. Oh no, we haven't. It's not silage because I haven't compacted it yet. So that'll be our next job. So I'm going to get everything over. And I'll see you shortly. I've got some water. Uh, 24,000 litres. I just need to turn the zone markers on to see where I'm putting it. Uh, yeah, so water is over there. Can't remember the capacity for water, but... Why are you not? Oh, there we go. There's the trigger. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the capacity. Uh, oh, 10,000. That's all right. Uh, we're going to park the trailer up. And we can get on with the food mix. Feed mix. So I'm not sure how this is going to go with the feed mix because obviously... The hay bale we've got there is 50,000 litres. Can't see where I'm going. I'll just drop that there. 
Yeah, the hay bale is for 50,000 litre bales, so... <clears throat> Could be awkward, but we'll see what happens. So let's turn that on. So we'll start with the silage. Now the silage bales are six and a half thousand litres. So we'll grab two of those straight away. It's not what I want. It's the only problem with this. <laughs> the bag lifter trying to pick things up Let's do it properly and unwrap them there we go right so these will go straight in F1 menu up. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Oh, there we go. So that was 13, so I think we can put three in straight away because that's 45,000 litre mixer. I think. It's a bit messy, but actually, let's just push those back in, make it a little bit more neater. There we go. Right. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I think. Put this one in and then we'll sort of hover over with the hay bale. slowly take from that. Obviously these 50,000 litre bales were just a little one-off thing. We'll have normal size bales after this. a very athletic cow. So we've done 25% of that bale. Let's just quickly see what what's in it at the moment. Once we've done our first mix I think um, I think we'll be used to it so obviously we'll we'll know exactly how much to put in so I think two of these straw bales hopefully that won't be 
uh, too much. So I think just try one first. See what that does. It's always a bit of trial and error on the first one, I think. Till you know your sort of ratios. So we don't want that bar, the straw bar, to go over. Right. That looks good. So 40,509. Mm. So I think. Um, I think, yeah, we'll... I think that'll do for now. We'll leave it at that. So... <clears throat> uh, three... Three silage bales. A quarter of that big hay bale. And one straw bale. For now. And then... Uh, and when we get the decent or the normal size bales, then we'll know what we're doing a bit better. So I could probably get two two mixes in here, possibly. Forty-seven. That's because there was a bit of grass in there. Um, yeah. So the food is a hundred thousand liter capacity. So that work out pretty well, actually. Two feed mixes. We'll fill it up. Sorry, Mister Cow. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the cows. So the, the last thing I wanted to do just to get done in this episode is compacting the silage bunker. So I'm not really sure. I mean, from what I've, I've never really done silage in a bunker. Um, and when I have, it's not been anywhere near as much silage as we've got. We've got over half a million litres. And it's a covered bunker as well. So there's not a lot of room on the between the roof and the, the top of the pile. But I think I'm just going to try this one. And put an additional weight on it. So 3.9 tonne. Um, 4.9 metres wide. So, yeah, I'm going to try it and see. Um, but again, a bit of a shorter episode because of having the time to record and edit and stuff. Um, just going to shut the gate because I've got the cows now. Yeah, it's just a shorter episode, but I just wanted to get some sort of episode out so that, you know, I'm still putting stuff out. Um, but got a few bits done. And finally got some cows. So, so with the different bits and pieces, I may look at some productions, but just got straight past the shop. 
but to be honest, I've um I'm doing a lot of production stuff on my other series on Calmlands and Kalinovka. So I think I might just leave the leave the productions on here really. Um there aren't actually any on the map, but I probably won't sort of go into productions in this series. I think we'll just sell the goods straight as they are, so the milk, the eggs, um, obviously all the wood products. We have got the productions for the wood products. Um, there's me saying we're not going to bother with productions on this series, but yeah, we've got the, the wood and the straw. Um, I, th I may actually place a couple more wood productions when when we sell the next load of stuff and get some more money in the bank um, there's a couple of others that I want to try out that only take wood um, coming in so yeah but other than that I don't think we'll be going down the route of dairies, bakeries or any other sort of productions Um, and then, yeah, the next the next episode or two will be getting all the seeding done. Um, we have got the one one field of carrots left to harvest, which is next month, I think. Um, but other than that, it's going to be a lot of seeding in, fertilising, and then uh, not fertilising. Sorry, because the the drill fertilizers as well but seeding rolling and then we're we're going into winter so i think winter is going to be a lot of um forestry work for me anyway um it's not going to be i'm not going to do a lot of it on camera i said that from the start i don't want to I, I tend to find when I'm watching content um, I tend to find forestry a little bit boring so I don't want I don't want others to get bored I know some people like it but yeah I think it's something I'll just sort of do off camera really so well, it looks for it we don't need to turn it on or anything Now this is the other thing. I don't know whether we're going to get up here or not. The last thing I want to do is get stuck. So this is going to take a lot of rolling. Wonder if this will be better on the on the front three point. Try that and see. I mean, there's probably a lot of really good stylage compacting tools, mods, that I haven't really looked, to be honest. I mean, this is doing it 7%. It's just doing it very, very slowly. That could be because of the amount I've got. Um, like I say, it's 560,000 litres, so. And we appear to be stuck. It's a common theme in this silage bunker, getting stuck. 
trailers seem to get stuck putting stuff in there and we're now getting stuck with the silage roller I was going to leave this and sort of keep filling it and then compact it when it was completely full but I thought I might as well do it now because um, the more we put in there the, the harder it is going to be to compact it so Um, but yeah, I'm going to crack on and get this done. I think I might even have a look and see if I can find something better. So yeah, leave it with me. See what we can do. So, I found another silo compactor. Um, so I've bought two, I've put one on the front, one on the back. And they're going a fair bit faster than the previous one. I've probably been doing this for about five or six minutes. Um, and we're at 80%, so yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty good to be fair. Half a million litres. Um so I sold the other one and I bought these. These were about seven and a half thousand each. And we got about eight thousand back for the other one. So we are now down to three thousand two hundred and seventeen. So haven't been that low for quite a while, but we'll make some money back pretty soon. Um but yeah, so I've got a few bits to get on with. As I say, another shorter episode, so getting a few bits done here and there. But uh, I'm, I've got quite a few bits to do between now and the next one, so, so that we're all ready for seeding in. So, yeah. Um, but thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. It's been a slightly may have been a slightly boring episode we haven't really done a lot but just got a few bits done that we needed to do so yeah i'll uh i will see you in the next one if you have enjoyed it please leave a like and feel free to comment i do like reading the comments and replying to everyone and uh feel free to share the video if you think somebody else might enjoy them uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.